Hi, I'm Brandy. This is Hound Dog Hollow, and today I'm going to be doing my magical side by side for the month of September. Wow, it's a lot of boxes. Okay, so um, basically, I will show you briefly what's inside one by one on the screen. It should say the price point for the box that you're seeing, <clears throat> and then I'm briefly going to show at the end all of them side by side as best I can but I have a smaller surface again because um dang, there we go because my other area I'm trying to get together the um, seasonal altar so please stay tuned actually why even do that let's just grab one I usually do them in a certain order, but I'm going to grab one. I'm going to go from the newest one first. This is the Empowering Oracle Box by Awakening in a Box. And it is $34.99 uh, plus I think now they're going to be charging $8 of shipping. This did not come with it. My son keeps putting acorns everywhere. If you've been watching, you know why. This was made by Goddess Laney. Um, very cool. I love the paper. So we have a candle. We have um, like a an eye thing. An eye with angel wings. Um, we have a beautiful selenite, which is my favorite item in the box because I've never had a selenite crystal and we have the angel oracle so this box um, guarantees you an oracle a crystal and then two items to facilitate your um, you know spirituality every month I have canceled the subscription um, there's nothing wrong with it I had good experiences. I totally would recommend it to others. For myself personally, I am very picky about my decks. And I found that while I was initially excited, once I got to sifting through them and starting to work with them, I did not connect with them like I did with, with decks that were either I bought for myself or that someone had given to me specifically. Um, and I usually say that when I do my deck reviews. So I haven't touched this one yet. I will take this one with me next time I go camping and see how it feels. Um, and I'm still going to give the other ones a chance because just because I didn't connect right away um, doesn't mean that I won't. But this is not um, for me. So I um, decided to par back. And because I want to try new things. And this was one of the ones that I chose not to continue. I think I'm going to do one long take. All right, let's see. What was the next to last? I want to say it was Tamed, Tamed Wild. No, it was Una Spirit. <clears throat> it was Una Spirit. Una Spirit upgraded to a box this month. This month was quite enchanting. I love the art information about how a certain amount of her proceeds go to charity. This um, beautiful Dream Seer Sachet smells good. It looks beautiful. I cannot wait to use it. This is the spirit pouch for the month. Lovely. So soft. Opens with these little clasps like this. And then inside is a beautiful Lepis Lazuli. Um, so very cool. I love that. I love this box. Um, they're very beautiful items and handmade, which is something that I'm I'm trying to gear towards. Ooh, I'm I'm getting caught on something. What am I getting caught on? Okay, come on now. Come on out. There we go. And we have this really cool pyramid. I'm at this pyramid. 
um, this box, this theme medicine bundle is $19 plus like a couple dollar shipping. So very cool. Um, it comes with a pouch, a, an Una spirit bag, a spirit bag, handmade with a crystal inside and then one or two little items to facilitate your craft. Very cool, very um, inexpensive option. I like it a lot. Then, I believe I had Tamed Wild. <clears throat> Tamed Wild has, this is a Tamed Wild box. It's now $20 with like five bucks shipping. Um, they've gone through another iteration. When I originally subscribed to this box in February of 2018, it was the Wild Medicine box and around 40 um, some odd dollars. And I like that variation um, very much. I'm not gonna lie. With each new iteration, I have liked it less. Um, I'm giving, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to get one more box of this. Um, but I think that my time with Tame Wild is probably coming to it. We'll see. Never say never. Again, it's a very, this this box actually went a long way from me saying, okay, I will, I will keep tune. I love this. I haven't started my money tree yet, but I'm going to, but I want to do it on the full moon in Taurus. Um, it's kind of like a money working. Just a rough amethyst pendant. Um, the stone this month was very beautiful and every single review I've seen has different stones. Mine is like vertically so different i love it that this was stone was probably my favorite this bag i have already but i do like it so it wasn't a, a negative for me and then of course tea um for twenty dollars this is an amazing box uh for the right person heck even me oh you know at a different time in my life i'm just i'm not i'm not here anymore so if I was going to be perfectly frank, I would say I would recommend this box to you. Um, it's a good box, and I've never had any problem with their customer service. Um, and some of their items are some of my favorite items that I have in my collection, full stop. However, I will probably get one more of these boxes because I like to give box three tries to kind of come to Jesus, so to speak. And... Um, you know, unless the next box knocks me off my feet, it's going to be my last. And that is nothing against them. If they brought something like the Wild Medicine box back, I would totally come back to them. And I'm not trying to be negative. You guys know me. I rarely, rarely am. Um, but it's just not. It doesn't suit me. <clears throat> so, I'm going to put that over here. This is the Magical Earth box. It's a monthly box. This box costs $50. card, monthly forecast, information about the um, stones inside and about the item inside and about the tarot card, personalized forecast for Leo, which I am, insert, this box smells amazing, let me just say that, this is what all the little um, astrology stuff comes in, <clears throat> eye mask, which is very soft, this beautiful lavender, which I love lavender, so no problem. Um, the stones were very cool. Uh, smoky quartz, like a hand stone, palm stone, worry stone, and a howlite. Very cool. And um, this last item, I have been getting boxes for a, a quite some time now, and I get quite a few, as you can see from my channel, um, but I have never gotten one of these. So this is like inside the bowl and I have to do it with my off hand. So it's got a little bit awkward. It's a singing bowl. Cool. I'll have to learn how to use it, but I like it very much. Um, this was a very, very good box. 
um, for this company. I like it. Uh, I did um, cancel my subscription. And the reason is I like this box. This box has a lot to offer. This box is excellent um, for, of course, the right person. And for a long time, I was that person. But I just don't think that I'm at that point in my growth anymore. Um, while everything in here is lovely, nothing in here is handmade. And that's what I'm starting to look at in my boxes. And if you look at the ones that I'm keeping, they're handmade. And if you look at the ones that I'm releasing back into the universe, uh, they are not as much. And there's nothing wrong with that because if you want to build tools and you want to build crystals, and clearly not all of those items are going to be handmade for you. But I have a lot of tools and I have a lot of crystals and I want handmade magic that I can't get anywhere else. And that's just what I'm trending. And I think that for other people, the, having a tamed wild box for 20 bucks and that's in your price range and you get something beautiful and magical every month is amazing. And I totally advocate for that. You go, girl. I have lots of reviews. You can see what um, you get an idea what you want to do. I'm just releasing that. Um, back out into the universe, y'all. Okay, so... This is not in the order that I got it, but I kind of like to stick together with companies. So this is Weevolve. I love this box. This is this is unique in that it's an every other month box. Um, I will have to post the price because I can't remember. I'm sorry. Beautiful art. If I'm not mistaken, oh, the theme was Pretty Little Things and I love, oh, it smells so good. Oh, look at this beautiful box. It's got like a unalom, I think is what they call the symbol inside I've got some quartz crystals um, oh my god it smells so good oh my goodness wow I cannot remember what it is in here that smells amazing rosebuds you guys know how I feel about that mugwort a beautiful little golden chime candle very cool love it It smells so good. A bell. So pretty. I love that. <coughs> Easy now. A bell. This is all over the place. <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. This is uh, a brass motor and pistol. <laughs> I got two this month. Um, the delightful, magical, wonderful Anita Apothecary also had one in her boxes so I got two this month and I'm yet to determine what I'm going to do with them um, but I love both of these boxes so I'm not holding anything against anybody it, it has been beautiful and enchanting I thought I had a picture of Bill in here maybe I kept it out because I love it oh here's a book very cool, The Good Witch's Guide to Modern Day Wikipedia. Oh, wait, hold on. One of them goes here. This one goes here. Some of them goes here. I lost Bill. I'm sure I put him somewhere. And then, of course, it tells you this is also the insert. Love this box. One of the things I like about this box is not only does she give you the upcoming themes, but she also um, talks, get, does spoilers, so you kind of know like pretty pretty extensively what you're getting. And I like that because the first box that I got from them did not stick with me. And I was like, okay, three boxes. Because I'm, I'm not really into angels at this point in my life. And um, I stuck with it and I, loved the, I have loved every box since. So, it's, it was just, just not my thing for the first one. And so I think that I will um, just pay attention to that in the future. And so far, I haven't seen anything I haven't liked. Um, this next company is Sugar Muses. And you all know that I love Christy at Sugar Muses. Scoot your doodle, I don't want to hurt you. Okay, so this is the Midnight Muse box, which is her $35, wait, no. 
it's not $35. Please do not quote me. I will put, it should swipe across the scene how much this is. And probably $29. Tarot card. Her symbol. Beautiful art or picture photograph. Insert. I like this box. This box has been really cool. Um, smell is nice. I got another bale. This one's so cute and little. Love it. Okay, and I got another bag of quartz crystals. Um, so, this is um, a, a bundle for smoke, for sacred smoke. Smell good. Incense. Smell good. We got our autumn brew tea. We got a little tea here. We've got this amazing coin. I love it so much. It's heavy. It's beautiful. Absolutely adore this. This was a, an amazing, amazing, amazing item for me. Candle. And then we got some little oils and perfumes. Let's double check what they were. This one is Maybon Magic Oil. Ooh, it smells nice. Again, if you want to see everything specifically, you could um, go to the videos. I have had a recommendation, and I will try my best. But again, my my typing is really poor and slow at the at the moment. So I will try my best to put links to the video in the description. Beautiful Mavon offering, casting salts, intense blend. I didn't use the Mavon offering. I was already, um, I was, I spent my autumn equinox the way I always do in the forest and I had already lined up specific offerings that I give in that situation. Um, but this will hold until next year. It's totally fine. Anyways, I love this box. This is the Midnight Muses box. Um, theme was Feast of Avalon. Second offering by this is Sugar Muses. We have two more offerings. They have the Sugar Muse Muse box, um, and they have the Sugar Muse Deluxe Muse box. And I believe that all together, everything all said and done with shipping and everything, it's fifty two ninety nine. Love the paper. Mavon art. I love these black envelopes. I use them for my new moon intentions. Ooh. Ouch. Okay. <gasps> oh no. No 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 no. Alright, I have to be more careful. God bless it. Okay. Very cool cards. What's with eyes? Lord have mercy. They're speaking to me. Oops. I got acorns. Little did I know I'd get 700. Sunflower seeds. Harvest organic tea. Intense. A beautiful Maybon Blessing candle. Bracelet, pretty. Move on ritual salts. Let's see what it looks like inside. Looks like flower petals and it smells very sweet. Oh, 
I love that. I gotta be careful there. This is all packed weird because of the main item. These were lovely. I love the shape and the feel of them. I like especially this little part of that stone. And we've got an oil here. It's got a really pretty jar. It's called Secret Smudge Oil. Cute. So fragile. I meant to use this. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, you sweet little offering. Let me put you back together before I go on. There we go. Beautiful offering. I will use at some point on my property. And then, oops, ah, this table. It's quite lovely. Or table. I don't have the average type of altar because I do have a, a four-year-old um, child and so most of my most precious items are kept up and, and away because listen, he is just a wild creature. <laughs> He's my wild creature but still very wild. I guess I, I wouldn't have it any other way. Let's put all these things back. Very cool box. I love um, Sugar Muses. It has a different feel than the Witch's Moon. No less wonderful. Just like, you know, I like a lot of the vibe that I feel from, from these witches. So this one's Christy. She does the the sugar muses. All of this after I'm done with this video, maybe not after I'm done with this video. It's late. Um, but my next day off, for certain after this video, I will be putting everything up. So these are the Witch's Moon boxes. This month, I got every box that they offered because they were kind enough to send me the Witch's Bounty box. And I'm so grateful. Thank you very, 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 very much. Believe it or not, I have never gotten a free box. I actually know. This is my second free box. I got one free box from um, Natalie at I Am Alchemy. Um, unfortunately, they don't have a subscription box anymore. So I'm going to start with... Oops. Hello, Zoe. I'm going to start with this one first, Witch's Roots. I've had every single Witch's Roots box that they've ever made, and I've loved every single one of them. This is $29, and it's amazing. It is herbally themed, so if you're not into herbs, it might be not your favorite. But there's something for everybody. This month was Echinacea. You get a beautiful book of shadow artwork. The herb. A candle, and this one's particularly sweet. It's got Palo Santo. Mmm, it smells divine. I love the smell of this box. I love the smell of every one of these boxes. Let's be real. I've never smelled a... Oh, wait. I was going to tell you a lie. I, I don't like rose smell. Oh, I love this. I love these bracelets. I have a lot of these from this box, and I, I like to wear them. Um... On all sorts of different occasions, I keep the I keep just about everything. All the little bags, all the little ties, all the little everything. Because um, I can repurpose them. I'm always shipping stuff to you guys. I'm always shipping things to friends. Making things. So I keep everything. I like the smell of this spray a lot. Um, this Serenity. It smells good. Ooh, it smells so good. I love it. I can definitely smell the Lang Lang. The Lang Lang, whatever. Ooh, these smell good. 
you probably get tired of hearing me say, this smells good, this smells good, ooh, this smells good. <laughs> but I can't help it, I love it so much. So, that is the witch's roots. And of course, all these boxes are for September. The Witch's Moon comes with a, a privacy um, box. This is their Witch's Moon box. It's $54 a month. So pretty. Oh, I love this box. Every time I get to do this, I feel like the excitement again. King, a sigil, Holly King, beautiful deck, nature, inside, harvest blessing tea and it looks delicious, tea bag, orange peel, red clover, that little candle is so cute. Silent reflection. Mm, it smells good. The renewal sacred salts. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Lots of pretty herbs. This box, these this last couple which is in the boxes, oh my god, they've been so good. I love them. This is the green one. Uh, it's full of herbs and smells good. I got my first candle snuffer. Very cool. Incense. It smells good. I like apple cinnamon, I think. Got a big beautiful piece of honey calcite. Love it. And look at this. Oh my goodness. It's so heavy and so beautiful. I absolutely love this. So beautiful. I love it. 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 This was an amazing box. I'm going to carefully put everything kind of like back in. Um, it was a great box. I absolutely loved it. And I guess I'm going to repeat that forever and ever. So what I don't like to see really quick while I'm taking this down and grabbing the next one is I don't like when people are like... Witches Moon versus Sugar Muses. This isn't a contest. Um, because and it, the answer is not going to be the same for everybody. Because we're all different people. And I also feel like, you know, the people who create these boxes are putting themselves out there. And creating magic and putting their light in. And good vibes into the air. So, like, it's one thing to not want to buy something and not care for it. Or feel like, you know, you didn't get your money's worth or whatever the case may be. It's an entirely another thing to denigrate them, um, which I will never do, no matter how much I dislike a box, unless it's flat out offensive. But uh, frankly, there's a lot. It takes a lot to offend me. This one that was a gift. This is the Witch's Bounty. I am going to put it on the screen how much this is, but I believe it's seventy-eight dollars a month. I received this as a gift. Thank you so much. This was a, an amazing box. This is my first of this kind beautiful art insert this beautiful I love this like eggplant colored cord and it's bouncy it's stretchy it's got this little thing here I liked this very much because I got a little tub tub neck and this will help me 
wear this piece. I've been meaning to bless it, but I, I haven't had a I haven't been prepared on a full moon. Last full moon was pouring rain and I was just not feeling well. Water and earth. Smell good. I'm guessing this is the shungite. Is it? Shungite, Belemnite, Ewats. So this has got to be the Shungite. And I've never seen one like this, but it's so cool. And I'm very happy to have it. It's very cool. This is a little candle. And then this is the Bellamite pendant. So it's like a fossil and it's got a rune carved on it. It's so beautiful. And no, no, this is the Shungite. This is the Shungite. And this is the Bellamite. And this is silver. That's what it was. I knew that wasn't. I have never seen one like that because that is not what it is. It's tourmaline, isn't it? Yep, it's tourmaline. Always trust your instincts, people, or else you end up looking like a dum dum on the internet. <laughs> so beautiful. I can't wait to wear it. Um, and it looks good on people. I constantly see Lisa, um, at least a support of Tarot, wearing it, and she looks lovely. I cannot wait to wear it. I'm going to take it with us on our trip to China, and I'm very excited about that. So let me talk to you really briefly. I'm not going to take everything out of the box again this time. I've decided against it, and here's why. I want to talk to you very briefly about um, price points and companies. So um, of the companies that I get multiple options, there is Witch's Moon Company. I get I, I got this month the Witch's Bounty, which is their highest price point, $78 more of a... Of a, of a it has all the wonderful things that you like, but the main focus is the the amulet or the jewelry item. The next step is the Witch's Moon box. This is their standard box. It's $54. I love this box. I love this box. I love this box. The Witch's Roots is their herbal box, $29. Amazing value. Amazing value. I get both of Sugar Muse's offerings. Sugar Muse... Um, Deluxe Muse. Actually, she has three offerings. I'm mistaken. Sugar Muse, Deluxe Muse. She has the regular standard Sugar Muse box, which I believe is $35. And then she has the Midnight Muse box. And I love I love these as well. And then, of course, um, everybody else, I have single items. Uh, I'd like to show you in order of price so that you can get an idea that way as well. So... The themed medicine bundle, it's really quick, $19 um, for that, it's a $19 box. And then you have Tamed Wild, who is a $20 box. Um, we got the money plant, we got the um, tea, we got a crystal, we got a couple things, $20 box. $19 box, $20 box, $5 shipping. Okay, and then our next um, tier, so to speak, is these two. These cost the same. That's why I think this is $29. Um, Witches Roots, Midnight Muses, excellent offerings. They're both different. This is more about, like, um, dark side I guess not dark side maybe shadow side I guess I would say and this is more about herbs these are both the same price not very much more than this these are 29 um, or just a little bit over with um, shipping this one's flat 29 I think it's a little bit over with shipping um, but just a little bit more than um, tamed wild um, and they have like very different offerings then the next price point this is kind of like in the middle. This is 
$34.99 plus um, shipping, so it ends up being $39.99 for me, but it's going up this month, and this is the Empowering Oracle, so you get the Oracle, the Crystal, and then two little items. Then, I want to show you, this box is every other month, this box is monthly, this box is monthly, and this box is monthly. $54, $52.99 to come to my door. It's just under, it's, it's somewhere in the late 40s, but for me it's $52.99, $49.99, and then this one's also $49.99, but it's every other month. Um, these are all the same price point, so that gives you a more direct comparison for yourself. If you're going to spend this money, you might want to think about what items are coming in these boxes. And then the, the deluxe price point is the Witch's Bounty. Although next month I will be having another one in this price point, and we'll talk about that then. So just really briefly, I'm um, transitioning a little bit uh, with my boxes. I have no intention of stopping boxes. If you're not into that, I'm so sorry. This might not be the channel for you. Um, but I am interested in transitioning more from the more mainstream, not mainstream, more broad appeal and I'm, I'm looking for things that resonate deeply with me as a person and and that includes handmade items and that includes um, things that are meaningful to witchcraft as a practice as opposed to just like spirituality broader and, and we'll get more into that in general um, I'll be talking about that more as I go through this month um, you might have noticed that my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Anita Apothecary box is not here. I do not count her with my monthly subscriptions because um, she does boxes certain times of years um, and it's not a subscribable thing. They are by and large, not by and large, they are extremely my favorite. I love them. She's a talented witch. It, it, they're intensely magical and they're so practical and wonderful. I love them. Um, but they're not a monthly subscription, so they don't end up in this box. Anyways, that's my magical side-by-side. -side. It's a long video. I hope you enjoy it. I am going to try my very best to leave links to each of the um, more detailed videos so that you can um, click. That was a feedback from my last one. Um, but I'm really excited, guys. I have to put this up before I can post my first video for the month of October and it's a brand new box and I'm freaking in love. So love you guys so much. My 700 subscriber giveaway is still going on for a few days. I appreciate you guys so much. I was foolish and when I aired my 700 subscriber video on the 3rd of October I, for I thought that that was my my YouTube start day and then I looked at my actual um, YouTube like analytics page and it was actually October 5th <laughs> so oops but still one year so wonderful make so many friends learn so much um, it's been great thank you guys so much as always please like comment subscribe if you haven't already come over for the giveaway 700 subscriber giveaway and also you know interact because um, at the end of this month to celebrate my one year on YouTube, I will be doing a special giveaway. Um, the prize is yet to be determined, but I think that you will like it. Love you guys so much. Have a good day. Or night. Bye.